so today is underpinning day at the farm. Finally got all the inspections passed, so it's time to go ahead and put the uh, underpinning skirting up. And go ahead and set the uh, steps, and that'll be the final inspection. This stuff's actually pretty easy to put together. All you do is uh, you put your, well you take the flat shovel and kind of grade you out a nice flat little trench right there, and then you take your level and put it up against the uh, trailer, that way you get everything all nice and plumb there. If not, your underpin will start kicking out, and I learned that the hard way on the other side, and I gotta go fix about 20 feet of it. It sticks out about two inches uh, farther than it should, so. You put that down, and then you put this, this starter strip up here, you just nail that straight to the side. Um, they left the old stuff on there, so I'm ripping that off. And then you come in here, and it's just pretty much soffit. It's a 17 inch wide strip. And it's got the vents in it, so I mean you can kind of see see the uh, the light that shows through. That way it'll get air and circulation under here. You just pretty much uh, snap it together. It's got a little groove that just overlaps into. Put it right there in the tray. A little groove down there. You nail that down. I just put like six inch spikes in there like every two feet. And you just take the drill with a... Uh, self happen screw and just screw it in there and then on top of this I'll show you when I walk around to the other side we've already got that side done and there's a little uh, piece of trim that snaps up top so I mean we've probably got we've got the front and the whole other side of the trailer done probably took four hours maybe four hours in it all together we had a Zach helped on the front side a little bit, so that sped that up a little bit. So, figure two people might have, you know, we've kind of worked on it a little bit here and there. Probably four hours all together. Um, and there's that trim piece that goes up top. And it sure does make the mobile mansion look a little better. Next is going to be replace this broken window gonna go ahead and power wash it it's uh, kind of moldy where it was sitting kind of clean everything up make it look a little better and do a little put a little mulch out front here yeah there's that broken window got to replace that can't have a broken window we got to build a uh, little access panel to get under there but uh, yeah if you look right there you'll kind of see where I got off a little bit it sticks out just a touch bit farther but I'm just crawl under there and uh, tap it back in it won't be no big deal get this side done I'll clean all this crap up inside the uh, AC unit we're going to build a little little access door to get under there hopefully never have to get under there but we'll have a place to get under there and then I bought a new door I'm going to rip that one off it's all dented up and it doesn't shut good and you come back here some days it's wide open so a center box been keeping that shut. Um, here's the new door on the trailer. Went ahead and got one with windows in it. Just to let a little light in. I mean, somebody's going to break in. They could kick a hole right through the door. So I'm not really too worried about it. Um, but yeah. All it does is just unscrew, put a bead of caulk around it. Put it right back up. Hey, did you notice the door handles on the other side on this door? No. Oh, it is. It'll be okay, though. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, finish this side up. Frame up the little access panel and uh, set the steps. We'll be good to go.